Here's uh, Mark Mathot, Dallas oh. Stars defenseman. Uh, so how would you sum up the last couple of weeks? Um, interesting and, and, and eventful. <laughs> but um, you know what? I've answered that a million times. I think my answer stands. It's just it's part of a process that happens very rarely in this league or, or any probably professional sports league with, when you have a new team coming in. And I happen to be the casualty in this uh, situation. And, um, again, it's, it's a shock and it's, it's disappointing and sad, maybe a little bit initially, especially after coming off a season that uh, the way we, uh, we had it here in Ottawa with the senators. But again, I'm, I'm very happy and thrilled uh, to be a part of the uh, Dallas stars organization. Chatting with Mark Mathot, Darren Millard, John Shannon and Chris Johnson. Uh, before I hand over the conversation, I'm just curious, did, did George McPhee or the, the Vegas golden Knights give you any indication that you would be moved uh, once they took you in the expansion draft? Well, we had a brief conversation um, when they uh, when they when they claimed me, and it was in the afternoon that day. And um, it was more or less just a <laughs> it was more or less just a brief conversation followed by a question about my no trade list. And um, mm. I had a pretty good indication right then and there that I was going to get moved. So um, I didn't hold my breath. I mean, I would have had no issue staying there. Um, but the crowd loved it when when we announced your name. They yeah. went crazy. Yeah, and and I would have I would have welcomed it, but in, I do believe right now things worked out for the better. I, I think I'm in a better position now, just because I'm on an established team, a good hockey team, and I mean I have to go on with that. But again, that wasn't an issue. But yeah, that was the conversation that I had, and then there wasn't any talk after that. Did you keep track of when, when they were negotiating with Dion, and uh, or how much did you follow all that kind of stuff? When they were when they were talking to Dion about whether or not he was going to waive and oh yeah well I, I had reached out to Dion I think right after there was rumors that they had asked him to to waive I don't know if it was ever official but um, I remember reaching out to him because I get along great with 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 Dion and I take pride in you know getting getting along with the boys in the room and and you know there, we hadn't spoken much because the season has ended and all that so I wanted to reach out to Dion and just tell him like hey man you don't you don't owe me anything uh, you know. You have every right to exercise that uh, no move. You've earned that right by having that in your contract. I'm like, you know, I'm not your, I'm not your immediate family. You don't need to worry about me. Like he had just bought a home. He loves playing here. Uh, I get it, and I, I will never hold a grudge against a guy that feels that way. And, and certainly, I wouldn't want that to be the case if you know if the, the revolves were, were reversed. So, it was a very brief conversation. I think he appreciated it, and I, you know. Life moves on. I'm, pro- I'm probably still going to go and see him in PI this summer with my fiance and, and, and have fun with him there. So, uh, <laughs> business aside, uh, we're good buddies. <laughs> well, let me let me know when you guys are out there. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> what? Okay. Is a, what is this? A social calendar? Well, I'm just saying. I, uh, I'll be out there too. You didn't ask me to say. No, I. You're not <laughs> as fun to hang out. No, with. I'm fun. Trust right, me, Mark. Let's I'm get this fun. back on the rails here, Mark. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm curious about. You know, what's been the the, the reception you've got from your senators, former senators, teammates since all this has happened, you seem like a pretty popular guy around the room there. Um, I think, uh, I think initially when when um, I was claimed, I got a bunch of texts from some of the guys and stuff like that. And um, again, you know, no one's dying here, so I didn't get another text when I was traded. I, I obviously keep in touch with a lot of the boys and we talk, but. Um, you know, initially, I think some were maybe a little disappointed just because you never want to see one of your boys go. But it was inevitable that someone had to go, and it, it happened to me. But I think um, they're still going to be a great team, and they're they're going to move forward. they got some really good young players coming up, too, on defense. So uh, it'll be a good challenge for those guys to and an opportunity. And, uh, again, I mean, uh, I, I had a great time here, and, and I, was treated, uh, I was treated great, and uh, that's, that's what I'll remember from it.